Live TV can be a crazy place. You never know what you might get. From people vanishing out of thin air to a plane emergency in mid-flight, here are 15 of the most unexpected moments caught on live TV. Incredibly scary! Okay, we're backing up, we're backing up. Just right here, live on TV. <laughs> Number 15. MMA fighter vs. blogger. When Darina Matiok finally forced her rival 540-pound MMA blogger Grigory Chistyakov out from behind the internet curtain, everyone assumed it would be a blowout. After all, it was a 139-pound woman fighter going up against a 500-pound man. That's a 28 difference in weight class. Despite his extensive knowledge of martial arts, his weight alone put him at a severe advantage. It's not like he didn't know how to fight. This fight probably should have never been allowed. Luckily for her, she emerged victorious with a triumphant defeat. The fight garnered international notoriety for the sport in the country of Russia in which it was hosted. Social media exploded, condemning the fight and that someone could have been seriously injured. There are safety rules tied into weight classes for a reason. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Meteorologist asked to cover up live on air. Los Angeles meteorologist Liberty Chan was forced to cover up her strappy black dress on live TV, causing social media to heat up over what some call Sweatergate. Let's be clear, she was given the sweater in the first place because some people thought the dress was too revealing and started shooting over emails for her to cover up. That's when the station did something moronic. While in the middle of her Saturday morning weather update for KTLA Saturday, you can see a frumpy gray sweater enter the scene on the right side. What's going on? You want me to put this on? Why? Because it's cold? She asks as she slips on the sweater over the quote unquote offending dress. What? Really? I look like a librarian now, she says, still confused. Now the station is in trouble for sexism and forcing her to cover up on live TV. Chan later tried to say she was not offended and it was a prank they pull on the show all the time, but people aren't buying it. From the look of confusion on her face that day, I'd say the station has apologizing to do. Whether it was a prank or not, doing it on live TV to be filtered through the minds of all people watching was just foolish. Number 13. Woman vanishes during live broadcast. Um, did that woman just vanish in thin air? Let's say that again. Holy cow, this may be one of the more bizarre videos to ever hit the internet. Go ahead and watch it a few more times, I'll wait. This was during a live broadcast. The internet exploded with viewers' reactions to the event. After countless hours of pedestrians staring at the video, it was finally deduced that the video caught them moving in tandem at just the right moment. The woman technically does disappear from camera view, but only because she's perfectly lined between the woman in the foreground and the camera. The results are magical. Anyone out there studying film special effects remembers this one if you don't have the expensive software to do it. Some skeptics aren't convinced. Maybe she stepped through the airport version of Platform 9 and 3 quarters from Harry Potter. Hey, a nerd can dream, right? Number 12. Reporter nails Welsh town name. Okay, whoever came up with the name of this Welsh town is nuts. In today's day and age, can't we name it something a little easier? If you were looking at the word, you wouldn't even be able to read it. Somehow, this meteorologist takes it in stride and knocks the name out the park. Seriously, he must have practiced that in front of the mirror for days or something. Just up the road from Just look at this word. I'm not going to even try to pronounce it. Now listen to this reporter crush it and see if your guess was anywhere near what he actually sounds like. The 58-letter town means St. Mary's Church in the hollow of the White Hazel near a rapid whirlpool in the Church of St. Tassilio of the Red Cave, and is one of the longest names in the world. If that wasn't apparent, typically when reporters are forced to say the village's name, they shorten it. Most people actually have no idea how to say it. When this anchor decided to pay homage to the village by using the full name and using it correctly, many Welsh were proud of the display. Taking to social media, the reporter quickly hit legendary status. Number 11. Guy drops brand new iPhone. We've all been there before. Got a new phone and you drop it for the first time. The moment goes down in history and is always terrifying. Those things cost some money. But we have undoubtedly dropped our phones once or twice. Not many can say they dropped it the moment after they got it and on live TV. 
Like so many do on Apple phone releases, this poor kid waited in line overnight to be one of the first in line to get the brand new iPhone 6. As the sun began to rise, news crews arrived on the scene to begin interviewing the customers and patrons. Since he was first in line, once the doors opened up and he had his brand new iPhone in hand, news anchors were jumping to ask questions and beg him to open it on their camera. Happy as he was, he obliged. He just waited all night after all. After finally getting the wrapping off and sliding off the top, his iPhone went crashing to the ground for all the world to see. The crowd erupts with sounds of knowing pain. Number 10. Reporter Wrestles with Alligator this is what happens when animal stunts on news stations go wrong. Whenever there isn't enough news going on globally, news stations like to fill their time slots with cute animal videos and meaningless filler. This happens when a news station, along with its anchor, will do anything to increase the ratings, even hold a live alligator. The problem is, if you can't stay calm like you're supposed to around these creatures, they will react in kind. The gator starts thrashing and you can tell the handler gets a little worried because he starts screaming at the anchor to hold him tight. It definitely is a hilarious set of circumstances, not to mention the bravery and strength the anchor managed to keep on the gator. At one point, you can even hear the gator's powerful tail whip the back of the handler. I bet he got a bruise there from that smack. I have to give this anchor props though. Despite the wild thrashing and fear that was probably racing through his head, he held his composure and on for dear life. My favorite part is that he fixes his suit once it's said and done. Number 9. Cubs Win World Series they finally did it. They broke the curse. 108 years after the supposed curse was dropped on the team, the Cubs defeated the Cleveland Indians 8-7 and in magical fashion. The legendary Harry Carey promised it back in 1991. Sure as God made green apples, someday the Chicago Cubs are going to be in the World Series. Not only did they win, but it was a tough battle. They would become the first team to overcome a 3-1 series deficit in a World Series since 1985 when the Kansas City Royals did it. The seventh game wouldn't be decided in regulation. It wouldn't be concluded until after a rain delay separated the ninth inning from the tenth. Talk about putting on a show. This championship was a battle for every inch. Both teams played at the top of their games. The Chicago Cubs are no longer the lovable losers of Chi-Town. Number 8. The Most Aussie Interview Ever I wish we had more news reports like this one. One where people are doing the right thing for the sake of just doing the right thing. Aside from using every Australian slang term you can imagine in his rendition of the events that happened, his accent couldn't be more genuine. Sure, the story of him chasing a hit-run perp is incredible and telling about his character, but how he goes about telling the story to the world is nothing short of amazing. I feel like an Australian scriptwriter couldn't have written it any better himself. Number 7. Flight 292 Emergency Landing Here's one of those videos that makes you question ever flying again and ever solidifies the terrified flyer's concerns. Just a few minutes after takeoff, Flight 292 was forced to make an emergency landing. The issue, luckily observed by flight control before the plane had a chance to retract its landing gear, was the front wheel was rotated 90 degrees. This caused dangerous concern for both stowing and getting back to land. The choice was made to turn around and make an emergency landing with fire crews on standby. What ensued was an explosion of sparks and flames as the front wheel struck the tarmac. It turned rubber to dust, and by the time it had finally slowed, it was grinding on the wheel and piston. The pilots pulled off a miraculous landing, saving everyone on board, at least in the physical sense. Emotionally, on the other hand, you could say that they took a beating. If it wasn't for the keen eyes of flight control, this landing would have likely ended in tragedy. Props to the pilots and flight crews as well. It was reported by the passengers they were terrific and did a fantastic job keeping everyone in a reasonable state of calm. In addition to keeping everyone sane, they quickly moved all carry-on luggage and people from the front of the plane to the back, keeping as much weight off the nose during landing. The combined efforts of everyone on board allowed for a safe landing. Number 6. Live TV Bridge Collapse Yeah, I never get that close to a bridge in a storm after this happened to me. The anchor here was extremely lucky she wasn't even a foot closer. Did you notice two unexpected situations are going on in this video? One, the reporter just barely dodged an oncoming storm that takes out the bridge, and two, the camera was still rolling to capture the whole thing for all of us to enjoy. Though it is impressive to watch now, for the woman in the video, you can hear the terror in her voice at the moment. Incredibly scary! Okay, we're backing up, we're backing up. Just right here, live on TV. She makes the right move next by telling the rest of the crew and pedestrians to back up. If you saw the road sinking and still marched out there to point it out to us, that's some serious dedication to the job. 
though I'm sure she learned a valuable lesson this time around. When a storm is raging just behind you, you can very quickly find yourself swept up in its wrath. Number 5. The Guy Coma Incident This might be one of the most hilarious cases of mistaken identity I've ever had the pleasure of researching. The best part of all, the man being mistaken just went along with it, answering questions phrased toward a tech internet expert he was mistaken to be. It was the perfect storm of an accident, and the man known as Guy Coma genuinely thought they wanted to interview him, but not on live TV. He was there for a job, not an interview on the vast knowledge of the tech world. Imagine his surprise as it shows on his face when the light comes on. He was being interviewed on live TV for a subject he knew nothing about. In the end, it worked out, and now Guy Coma is a celebrity because of the mishap. It occurred more than 14 years ago and is still a dazzling story of personal discovery. The story unfolds a little like this. Guy's called in for a job interview, but when he arrives is mistaken for technology journalist Guy Cuny. Yeah, the same first name, making it even more confusing. Everyone around the station just kept calling him Guy, and since it was his name, he went along with it, thinking it was all part of the hiring process. Number 4. Chris Kamara It's sad, even though Chris Kamara spent his life in the Royal Navy, played for 10 soccer clubs and managed two of those teams, he will go down as the reporter who missed the red card at Fratton Park. As the head anchor went to Chris for an update on the soccer game he was covering, the Portsmouth-Blackburn match, he completely missed the second yellow and subsequent dismissal of a player in his update. I must have missed that. The red card. <laughs> Chris! When pressed by the head anchor to elaborate on the game's critical moment, he just stared into the camera. He replied hilariously, I don't know, Jeff. Hilarity and frustration ensued from the well-known reporting duo as they go about a little fight on live TV. The priceless moment has now been viewed more than 3 million times on YouTube. Though he doesn't mind the hilarity nor the publicity on himself, he just wishes that everyone knew the whole story and how the day unfolded. Chris even claims that the video is still viral and people still love it. Number 3. Tom Cruise Couch Jumping It shall never be forgotten. Not if I have anything to do with it. How could anyone ever forget Tom Cruise's outburst on Oprah? If there's a type of media on the internet, chances are footage or photos from Tom Cruise's crazy rant have been used. The notorious interview will forever be marked in history, especially considering how the couple turned out. Sorry to say it, but Tom Cruise may be longer remembered for his couch-hopping rant about Katie Holmes than any of the films he's ever starred in. If you say Mission Impossible, I'd be hard-pressed to look Ethan Hunt the same ever again after seeing Cruise hopping about a couch like a child on live TV. I'm not saying he didn't feel anything for her then, there's clearly something going on. I'd sooner relate that emotion to someone amidst a panic attack, not love. In his own words, that's how he feels about it, so there's that. We all know what happens down the road and it doesn't involve galloping off into the sunset on the road paved with yellow couch cushions. To credit it all to Cruz, however, is a mistake. Oprah is famous for getting her crowd hyped and keeping the energy going. That pressure can get to people. She might have just accidentally blended his brain a little too much. Number 2. The Wrong Oscar I was embarrassed for the Academy on this one. This unexpected moment has become something of an expected attribute of the Academy. Their recent decisions are nothing short of baffling. Suppose anyone had been paying attention to the past few Oscars. In that case, you know about the infamous Moonlight La La Land award mix-up. The best picture was credited to the wrong film for Pete's sake, or at least that's what we know. How did that letter for best picture get mixed into the running to begin with? It's almost like they had two letters, one for both films, and they just decided to run with whichever one they chose in that end. It confused everyone, including the host and announcers. Social media exploded, asking how in the world this could have happened, and rightfully so. We may never have an honest answer from the Academy, but it certainly shows even the most high-profile award shows are subject to error. When the announcer opened the card, he was perplexed and confused, but was mistaken for cuteness in making the audience wait in anticipation. In actuality, he was just as confused as everyone else about the cards that were mixed up. After realizing the mistake that had been made, at least the creators of La La Land, who were on stage for the award already, announced the winners themselves, calling the Moonlight crew on stage to accept their reward. Number 1. Balloon Boy Reveals Truth This one is hard to believe, even harder to comprehend. The mother of a six-year-old boy who sparked a major rescue operation after he believed to had been carried away inside a helium weather balloon. After investigations into the case turned up strange evidence, the mother had come clean, admitting the whole thing was a hoax. The boy's parents forced him into lying, telling the odd tale. You can't sit up here and blame a six-year-old. 
His brain isn't even developed enough. Instead of admitting the truth in this case, the parents decided to turn it into some marketing ploy, and the results are the famous balloon boy you know about today. Later, the parents admitted to the sheriff investigator in charge of finding the boy that they knew all along where their son had been. They were hiding him in the Colorado home all the time. The worst aspect of the whole thing is that these parents are teaching their children unacceptable things, teaching them that it's okay to lie in the name of publicity. This of course is false and can cause significant developmental problems. The world is full of unexpected things and even more unexpected people. If there's one thing any of us can be sure of, it's to expect the unexpected. I know it's a crazy statement, but nonetheless true. As you can see from our list today, with the help of cell phones and handy cams, we can capture and share that unexpected thing with the world. In turn, those things may not be so surprising. However, that isn't to say there won't be something new to come and take its place. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our lit content delivered right to your inbox.